So we're back working on the turret. This time we're going to make the little openings on the side. And we will start by creating a new sketch on the top. So I clicked on Start 2D Sketch. I'm going to click on the top of this and click Circle. I'm going to go back to 0, 0. And I'm going to do 14.0. And click Escape, Finish Sketch. I'll extrude that, and we can go the opposite direction there. Uh, H should be fine. This whole thing right here is 10, so I don't want it to go all the way through. Otherwise, it's going to poke. There's going to create holes down at the uh, edge here. So I'm going to click OK. Cool. That looks good. And then I need to create the openings. So I am going to start another sketch on this little edge piece here that goes around. And my turret's going to have four things kind of sticking up and then four things coming down for the openings. So that's uh, it's going to be eight um, total little kind of going up and down. So if I take this whole circle, which is 360, and divide it by 8, that's 45. So I'm going to create lines of 45 degrees coming out from here. So I'm basically just splitting these in half. Um, so 9.33. Uh, that doesn't really matter as long as it's on the line. So 45 degrees, enter, it's on that went down there, it's totally fine. Um, had to do that one anyway. Um, line, and this one's going to go out to here. Out to here here to there is well now I get help from Autodesk hopefully there is so right there I see that this line is perpendicular from the other one meaning that it's actually 90 degrees I know it's measuring 135 because it's measuring from a different line but I see it's stuck there so that's good let's do it on this side um, yeah that's lined up with the other one so now I don't even really have to measure I'm just Autodesk is doing this for me as long as these are lined up is that lined up right oh. right gotta make sure I'm on that there And then so I have all of like I have all these pieces one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't have lines here, so I'm going to put lines there. looks like I have lines there because of the XY coordinate plane. So I'm going to hit escape. And so I can create these little chunks out of this. So I could, um, what I could do is, so I'm going to go to arc and I'm going to start outlining the ones that I want dropped down. So I'm going to go from you have to be careful too because it starts snapping to different things on this as it gets busier with all of these lines and angles. Um, but I'm going to be outlining this uh, using arc and I just want it to go on that line. And then from here I want it stuck on that one. Make sure it's on there. 
lot of things it's sticking to. Here and there. A lot was stupid. There was already a line there. I meant to do this. Here. There. Notice how I'm doing every other one because I'm going to drop these down. You'll see how that looks. Almost made the same mistake again. So I'm just going through and marking over previous work and just lining it up with those arches. So lined up, escape, and then what I need to do is I have to trim stuff. So um, it's kind of hard to see, but there are lines that needs to go, that needs to go that needs to go, 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 basically all the inside. There is a line there that needs to go. Escape. I don't know what this is all about, but it's gone. So you can see right now, like I have those chunks, right? And if I hit finish sketch, I should be able to extrude. And if I click here and hit hold down shift, and go to each one. So I held down shift, I just let go, and then I'm gonna plop these down to, let's say, 6.0. Oh! So that's looking like, starting to look like a castle turret. Uh, I'm gonna hit save. And the next video, I have to take a chunk out of here to attach the walls.